Here's another home improvement tip from Todd and Todd. Well, how do you know when it's time to replace your doors? Todd, tell us what you're seeing here. Well, Todd, we're in a beautiful wooded lot here in New Berlin. And uh, there's a couple things that we found on this entry door. First of all, um, with a wooded lot, there's very little airflow on the back side of the house. In addition to that, a wooded proper property tends to hold a lot of moisture in the air. So one of the things that we found on the back door of this house is that with the excessive moisture, we've had a buildup of moss over the years on the wooden door, as you can see on the bottom. That moisture doesn't just stop with a moss buildup. In fact, that moisture has begun to rot the door on the bottom here. So those are some of the things we look for on wood doors. In addition to that, Todd, um, as you can see, when you open the door, it's stuck a little bit. Well, that's because that moisture has made that door swell over time. So in order to operate this door nicely, the homeowners had to shave it down on the edges. Again, those are three signs of what moisture damage can do to a wooden storm door. Additionally, because of the, um, the heavy moisture in along the bottom of the door in the sill area, this door has begun to delaminate, and there's really nothing that you can do about an entry door that's delaminating. These doors definitely uh, need replacing. Todd, what else have you found? Well, the thing that I see here right away is we're on the back of the house, and uh, this is a security issue because here you have the handle, but there's no deadbolt here. Okay. Um, and the combination of having a low glass that can be broken with no deadbolt uh, just is an invitation for burglars to be able to uh, penetrate the back door where they're unseen. So definitely when we replace this door, what we are going to do is put a new uh, handle set along with a new deadbolt in to enhance the security. In some cases, we actually recommend that a homeowner might uh, select a, to have a glass it's high up on the t uh, top of the gla uh, top of the door, as opposed to extending all the way down near the handle sets where it can be broken through. Now that's really a decision each homeowner has to make, depending on how much light and how much glass and the style they want. But if it's possible, it it would enhance the security of the door. But at the very least, we definitely need a new deadbolt here for sure. Now let me tell you how we're going to replace this door, Todd. First of all, when it comes to installing entry doors, there's a couple different methods that are used in the contracting industry. One of the most common methods is to leave the jams as they are and not even touch those. What happens is a contractor can order an entry door with a steel frame that's used as an insert. In this case, what we want to do at WeatherTight Corporation, we feel the best method of installation is to get rid of the jams, again, because of the high moisture content. And what we're going to do is we'll start by removing the storm door on the outside of the home, take the brick mold off, and on the inside of the house, there's another uh, casing or trim that goes around the perimeter. Once we have that casing off and the brick mold off, we then have the ability to get at the old nails and screws that hold this door in place. Once we remove the nails and screws, we can pull the jam out of the house along with the threshold on the bottom. Now we're starting from scratch with a brand new rough opening. The idea is to put in, in place a brand new jam so that we can get this door perfectly aligned and perfectly squared so that it operates easily for the homeowner. In addition to that, on the bottom, we're going to go with a rot-free jam here because of the heavy moisture content. We don't want to have uh, the door experience any uh, rot or mold or, or decay or anything like that. So um, uh, a maintenance-free composite is going to be the best solution. Then when we're completed installing the brand new jam, uh, the entry door is going to be a fiberglass door. Again, we want to have a maintenance-free door. Once the door and brand new jams and threshold are installed, we will go ahead and wrap the, the new jam and the brick mold on the outside with aluminum trim to make sure that everything is completely maintenance free. From there, we'll install the storm door, attach the brand new deadbolt handle set, make sure that everything is aligned appropriately, caulk, conceal, and that will complete the job. So when we're done with this project here, not only is the door going to be totally maintenance free, so will the storm door. Uh, the exterior jams will all be finished off, so really there's going to be a, a very nice improvement to this home. There's really nothing that will need to be painted or maintained uh, now or in the future. Now, if you have these types of issues with your doors and you'd like to have us stop out and take a look at them, just fill out the form here on the webpage.